Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Hello all dinosaurs, Merry Christmas to everyone and today I'm super excited cause Mojo Fun has just sent us a new box of dinosaurs and prehistoric animals to review for free. I'm so excited, this is like the best Christmas gift. Okay, so we are going to unbox this together. I use a box cutter to um, open up this box. I'm very excited because this box contains all the new 2020 release. Yeah, so excited. So let's see what is inside. Alright. Oh, there is a little piece of cardboard to actually separate um, this. Alright, the first one, the very first one is actually a T-Rex. Looks really, really good. We will open this later on. What about this? We have a Spinosaurus. Looks really, really nice. Feathered Velociraptor. What about this? This looks like a Diplodocus. Is there like a name written below? We'll take a closer look at this. And um, they d wow, this is a new one. Calosaurus. That's nice. Stegosaurus. Looks really good. The body is pointing upwards. The pose. Triceratops. Wow, this one has actually retained its flavor from the previous season. So you can see there are some similarities to the older version. So that's really nice and nostalgic. Brachiosaurus, beautiful one. This looks like a huge improvement from the previous version and it looks so much bigger as well so that's really nice what about this this looks like an allosaurus love this beautiful red bumps those little spikes this looks like an iguanodon it could be an iguanodon looks really good and they are really huge what about this this looks like a Baryonyx. Yeah, let's check out the name if there's one written below. And this one should be an Apatosaurus. Yep, looks really, really good. Okay, time for us to open up all of them. Okay, so um, let's start off with the T Rex. Right, let's start off with the T-Rex. T-Rex is my most favorite um, dinosaur, so I'm gonna open this up. Just trying to find the opening. There's actually some perforated lines over here, so that you don't have to cut them open. So the first one, the T-Rex. Wow, it looks amazing. It has an articulated jaw, which is really, really nice. Beautiful. I remember the previous T-Rex, it doesn't have a uh, movable jaw, but this time it is a huge improvement. Wow, looks really good. And I love this paint scheme. Yeah, looks really nice. Brown for the base, and the highlights are in black, so that's really, really nice. It's very nicely detailed in terms of the head sculpt. Two little fingers. But like claws, you can see the nice muscle definition. Some really nice skin folds right here. Just brilliant. So that's our first figure of the day. I'm gonna open up the Spinosaurus. Okay, trying to find the perforated lines. Here. This looks brilliant. Wow. It's amazing. This is pretty huge, as you guys can see. This is actually a quadrupedal spinosaurus, which means it is walking on four legs. I love it. 
and I love this shiny sheen of paint. This green is amazing and you can see a nice shine across the body. Even the jaw, the interior of the mouth are very nicely detailed. That's brilliant. Spinosaurus, the spine lizard. Huge neural spines right here. Looks really good. So if you do them side by side in comparison, the T-Rex looks slightly bigger than the Spinosaurus. If the Spinosaurus looks bigger than the T-Rex, that will be amazing. But overall, I love these two figures. The next one, I'm gonna open up the Apatosaurus cars. It looks so good. Let's get this out. Wow. This Apatosaurus, it's nice. It's really, really nice. I love the details on the head. Check this out. You can see some shiny sheen across the eyeball. Looks really good. Apatosaurus. Let us just check. Oh, this is actually a Brontosaurus. Oh, nice. Brontosaurus was recently brought back to life by um, the archaeologists because initially they thought Brontosaurus is just another um, I think they thought Brontosaurus was just like a Apatosaurus I don't remember but after discovery they concluded that the Brontosaurus it's a species on its own yeah that's really amazing Okay, next up, let's take a look at this. I'm very excited to find out what this is. I feel this should be um, a Baryonyx. So let's take a closer look at this. Looks brilliant. It has the head sculpt of a Baryonyx, but let's check out whether this is really one. Yes, that's right, it is a Baryonyx. Looks brilliant. Yeah, looks really good. I love this. And all of them can stand really well. And it has a movable jaw as well, so that's really nice. If you don't like it to be opened, you can just simply close it. That's really nice. Love the black patterns and spots across the body. You can see a nice little detailing over here. Even the undersole are nicely detailed. So that's Baryonyx for you. Okay, the next one which I am interested to take a look first will be the Allosaurus. Yes, this looks amazing. So let's open this up first. Allosaurus. The different lizard. But first, let's make sure this is really an Allosaurus. Can't really tell. Oh yes, it is the Allosaurus. Awesome stuff. I like this. Nice movable jaw. I love all these red spikes. It looks very very vibrant. Beautiful Allosaurus. Okay. Let's place this over here. Okay, next up. I want to take a look at um, the Brachiosaurus. I love Brachiosaurus. If Mojo can treat like a much bigger Brachiosaurus, I will be so excited. Like a giant Brachiosaurus. Probably, okay, not as big as the Super, um, as the Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus from Jurassic World, but slightly smaller will be really nice. Yeah. So Mojo, hopefully you can create one gigantic Brachiosaurus. And speaking of gigantic dinosaurs, I'm actually moving into a new place where I'm going to dedicate a room, especially for my dinosaurs. If you guys, any one of you guys can send me one huge T-Rex, that will be amazing. Okay, Brachiosaurus, let's take a look at this. Looks awesome. Looks really good. I love all this, you know, splashes of paint. It looks very, very nice. Yeah, this Brachiosaurus looks really good. You can see the muscular limbs. 
even the tail is really muscular, which is true. Because the Brachiosaurus, it's a very, very powerful and strong dinosaur. It is known as the arm lizard because the two front legs are actually longer than the hind legs, making them looking like arms. Yeah. Next up, let's open this up. Okay, I like this. I think this could be an iguanodon or uh, or one which is related to the iguanodon. So let's take a look at the name first. Wow, it's actually a uh, monstrosaurus. This is actually a dinosaur um, discovered in China, which is quite closely related to the iguanodon as um. Yeah, I think so, yes. Looks awesome. Looks really good. It's Churosaurus. I think this is one of my very few figures of it. I think I do have one from another brand which I can't really remember. So this is my second Ben's um, uh figure. Yeah, looks awesome. And how do all these figures from Mojo feel, okay? They feel heavy, they feel solid, they are very hard, so they definitely do not feel cheap. They are very, very good figures, as you can see. Pretty high quality. Alright, next up, let's open this sauropod up, which looks like a Diplodocus to me, but Let's find out first. Let's find out. Okay, this sauropod looks slightly weird to me. Across the limbs look really skinny. Not too sure. I'm trying to find Mamanchisaurus. Yes, Mamanchisaurus. It's my second um figure. This should be another um figure. From China, I have one Mamanchisaurus from PNSO, and this is my second figure for a Mamanchisaurus. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy, and um, yes, it is actually right. Mamanchisaurus, they have pretty, pretty slim legs. All right, Mamanchisaurus. I can't remember the nickname of this dinosaur. Probably like, like Maman Lizard. Not too sure. Next up, we have the Fused Lizard. Yes, what is the Fused Lizard? The Fused Lizard is actually the Ankylosaurus. Do you guys know why? If you guys have been a um, long time follower of Dan Surprise, you know that the Ankylosaurus, it has fused bones. But let us just be sure that this is actually an Ankylosaurus, because it could be or um, a Euplocephalus. So let's take a look. Yep, that's right, Ankylosaurus. The bones of the Ankylosaurus are fused from the head all the way to the end of the body. Yeah, making it a very, very strong armor. So that's the Ankylosaurus for you. Looks really good. I love the paint scheme. Orange against the black base. Looks awesome. You can see a nice coat of um, or brownish paint right below, so it's really really nice. Next up will be the more commonly and famous, I mean more commonly known dinosaurs, very famous, Stegosaurus, in its new introduction, the roof lizard. Okay, looks really cute. This figure looks um, very different from the rest looks good but it doesn't have the level of details that's compared to the rest but it is still awesome Stegosaurus is known as the roof lizard's cause when the paleontologist actually found the Stegosaurus they thought all these tiles all these you know plates were lying like sideways or like downwards on the body all right, making them looking like our um, shingles on a roof, which is why they call it the roof lizard. And um, this is a feather velociraptor. Yep, let's take a look. Awesome stuff. You can move the jaw. 
brilliant level of detailing right here. You can see the different levels, I mean different layers of shadows. Looks really good. Oh, this is actually a Deinonychus, or is it a Velociraptor? It's a Trodon. Okay. Okay. That caught me by surprise. It's a Trodon. Alright. Nice one. That's really nice from Mojo to create a Trodon. Cause, you know, Velociraptors, they are too common. And to be really honest, uh, I'm not a, not a huge fan of Velociraptors, so it's a good thing they actually produce a Trodon. Next up, this should be a Triceratops. And this Triceratops, it has retained a certain flavor of its previous um, um, Triceratops. Yes, it looks very, very similar to all the previous Triceratops, which is really nice in a way because it provides some kind of some kind of um, nostalgia for um, the fans who have been collecting Mojo Fawn Triceratops. Yes, so in total, Mojo has sent us 12 different figures. Which one is my most favorite? If you ask me, I have no idea, but I like it. I really, really like it. You know, thanks Mojo for sending me this awesome new figures. I must say, if you ask me to pick my most favorite one, I am going with the Spinosaurus. It looks amazing. It looks simply amazing. The head sculpt looks good. The detailing looks good. And I love this very unique um, paint scheme. It looks awesome. awesome. My second most favorite will be the T-Rex. Followed by um, the Apatosaurus, Brontosaurus, I beg your pardon. Yeah, what about you guys? Please let me know down below. Alright, so very, very happy that um, Mojo has sent me this set of really, really nice figures. Just want to say a huge thank you to Mojo for sending us. You know, all these awesome 12 different figures. So if you guys want to purchase, you know, Mojo figures, you can, um, I'll drop a link down below in the command section so that you can actually visit their website, okay? So thanks to Mojo and thanks for watching this and I'll see you guys on Saturday for the next video. Goodbye.